Pinnacle Holdings. Well, this is an interesting backstory here because it's a company that did very well providing all the usual IT services, quite a lot of agencies for the import and distribution of other people's technology, PCs, Acer, all those kinds of brands, as well as some IT financing through its business Centrifin. But it had a bit of a blowout in 2014 because it had a executive director that was arrested in a fraud investigation because of a deal that was going down with the South African police services. Then all that was denied. And we'll see in a minute the stock price has been all over the map. Market cap here, we're looking at 1.7 billion rand, P.E. ratio of 6.7 and no dividend yield. Did you get caught on the wrong side of Pinnacle? Uh, thankfully not, um, but that's purely luck. Look, this has been uh, certainly one of my favorite long-term businesses. I think operationally pre-2014 has been stupendous in terms of the growth and the margins and the return on equity. Um, and Arnold Faree and the team had were really the rock stars in terms of the IT space. Um, more hardware distribution than, than EOH, um, but they've made also been very shrewd about the acquisitions that they've made over time. Took a, a fairly big chunk of, uh, of uh, data centrics um, in the course of, I think, 2013. Um, and it was really business business as usual. Um, and then 2014 was almost the perfect storm. You had the drama in terms of the non-business related stuff. And then on top of that, operationally, they stumbled. Um, so for the first time in a long time, margins uh, got squeezed, growth uh, disappeared. Um, and uh, because of their acquisitions, debt levels were actually quite high. So uh, lots of question marks all of a sudden around the business. Paul, we've never uh, invested in Pinnacle, uh, but we could have got caught. We with, did or we actually did. have a brief. Daniel Isaacs. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. This is like a <laughs> long time ago, and <laughs> we cleared it out when it started tumbling, which was just as well, because as Seppo said, the initial concerns. Look, this is a company that did quite a lot of corporate business, but also a fair amount of business with government departments. Mm. So the minute there's some sort of a cloud hanging over the way the business has been obtained and whether it's been retained and it's all legit and above board, then the market had to put a lower multiple on those kinds of sales. So I think we're well out of it. And I think it's in rebuild mode because the market is waiting to see whether uh, the earnings are sustained and how the company performs. Hot or not? Um, look, uh, the share price has pulled back quite a bit. I'm still a believer in Arnold Ferry. I mean, he's grown this business uh, tremendously. He's not going to leave until it's uh, found its feet again. <sighs> Given where valuations are, I'm going to say hot. Hot or mm. not? I'm going to say not. Uh, I think there's still a little bit more uh, anxiety, perhaps, before the market falls in love properly with this one. So for now, I'm going to say not hot.